All right, so I'm back, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the Denifert's Aries II, and at least my experience with it. Uh, I purchased this directly from the company in Singapore. Service is great, got everything fast. I was really amazed. Everything arrived nicely. Uh, I was, uh, just so you know, I, I messed around with uh, Bellafleck and the Flexstones. I like the recordings, they sound pretty cool. So what I did, is I have the Betsy's, Kane Tuck Betsy speakers. I have a Rel T5i, and I'm using a Earhart Audio Aretha tube preamp and a Dynakit Stereo 120 uh, solid state. I'm comparing the Magnavox CDB650, which is a very reputable CD player that's affordable. You can get them on eBay for about $120 to $150. And then I have the Denifrips Aries uh, 2 as well as the shit uh, Modi multi-bit. I'll tell you more about that later. So here's uh, what I did. I have the, um, the Denifrip set into oversampling mode with the slow filter on. This is my understanding is, you know, according to the guys on YouTube, they say that's the way it sounds better. Uh, I've, you know, I've only been an audiophile for a couple of years. I don't have anywhere near the experience those other guys do. You know, I've been able to get pretty good gear to compare. I have some tube amps and I have other ones. I have other speakers. So it's not like I haven't had a chance to listen to some pretty decent stuff. Um, I do have a lot of vinyl and uh, and so it gives me an opportunity to, to compare a lot of things and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it and hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, so first off, I was just going to tell you the build quality of this thing is a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. It's absolutely solid. It's very, like, it doesn't feel cheap. The buttons are, like, rock solid when you press them. They, that flickery, that clicky noise you hear online, trust me, it's not, it doesn't feel cheap when you press them. It's a very solid feel to it. Um, the build quality, like I say, it's just, it's really superb. So on that level and everything, it's beautiful. Aram got it really quick. Got it from Singapore, uh, from the company in Singapore that, that uh, uh, allows you to import it to the US. Um, okay, so with that said, let me explain how I have this set up so you guys know. Okay, so I have a coaxial output uh, on the Magnavox CDB650, which leads into the coaxial input of the Denifrips Aries 2. Then I have from the Aries, the RCA cable, which leads into the auxiliary port on the back of the Aretha. Now, to hear the CD player, I have the RCA outputs, okay, set up into the CD input of the um, Aretha. So, how does this work? All I do to compare the CD player to the Aries is I just simply flip the switch. So I go from auxiliary to CD. So if I want to hear the CD player directly, I go to CD. If I want to go to listen to the Aries to compare the sound, I just switch it over to auxiliary. I can do that on the fly. So, um, you know, when I first heard about the Denifrips, there was a lot of, um, a lot of people give this thing a lot of praise. And um, if I had to guesstimate like the difference in the sound compared to the CDB650, if I was like to, to put it like a percentage, I would guesstimate about a 15% 15, 15 increase in the quality of sound, meaning that the bass becomes more palpable, the, the, all the like the cymbals and guitars and the banjo that I hear in the Bellafleck album, do sound more, there is some space between it. It doesn't, it has a very natural sound. I don't know how any other synonyms I could put that in. I um, It doesn't, it, it sounds smooth. It has a smooth sound to it. It doesn't, there's more space, there's more air. You hear, you hear it, you know, the, the instruments and the voices are more distinct, you know. The, the shit multi-bit, is surprisingly good. The sound stage compared to the Denifrips are they're very similar in my opinion. I, I know that some of the guys online were comparing it to the Bifrost, but I thought 
you know, that this little multi bit surprisingly stood up well. Um, I think the sound stage on it sounds equal in my opinion. And maybe the reason to me it's not that much different uh, the Denifrips isn't much different is because uh, maybe I'm just not experienced enough. I do have some pretty decent amplifiers. They have tube amps and things. I um, pretty decent stuff, you know. And uh, you know, I've had a chance. I listen to a lot of vinyl, as you can see, and so it's not like I don't have any decent things here to compare. Uh, but maybe I need to sit down and just listen to it some more. I do see or hear the impact. It's not as much as I would have initially thought, you know, um, you know, the way they describe it on the internet. Um, but so far, it is an improvement. There's no question there's an improvement on it. It's just, it's not as much of an improvement, in my opinion, as the way they make it sound on the internet. And who knows, maybe down the line. You know, one of the things that trips me out about this whole thing is, I, I, you know, the opinion you might have at one time after you listen more and more, it sometimes can change uh, when you spend more time listening and, and perhaps maybe I need to spend more time with it. But so far, it's a beautiful device. Now, like I say, the, the, the quality of build and everything on the Denifrips is extremely nice. And, and um, so hopefully this guy will help you. Is it worth it? I don't know. You know, I don't think that the multi-bit is really, you know, it, it has a little bit more colored sound to it. It's not as natural sounding. And maybe that's the digital part of it. I don't know. Um, the, the, what people say about the Denifrips online is that it, it, it's supposed to have more of an analog sound. So, um, you know, but uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm going to keep it. And uh that's about it. All right.